Charlie, you claim to have tiger blood, but with all the porn stars you've banged, it's, it's probably just Tiger Woods blood, I'm guessing. You've got boatloads of money, three TV shows, and still, even with all the work you've had done, you can walk down the street totally unrecognized. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Charlie definitely has tiger blood coursing through his veins. Unfortunately, that tiger is a helpless drug addict. Dude, your nose is like my ass. There's nothing you won't shove up there. I've been clean and sober for three and a half years now. But Charlie still hasn't hit rock bottom. I know he's looking forward to it, though, because he thinks there's a rock there. <laughs> but Charlie, don't ever pretend that you're not a totally bitchin' rock star from Mars, because you are. And I love you. And I am so grateful that you've let me be a part of this tonight. Steve-O, you're an animal, man. People say I'm crazy, but you, you're the real deal. <laughs> this guy actually got a tattoo of his own face on his back. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Even he knows it was a huge mistake because it makes Johnny Knoxville's <laughs> go soft. <laughs> Speaking of things that should already be dead, Charlie Sheen is still alive. Charlie. You, I'm a fan. You were amazing in Platoon. Your marriage to Denise Richards, it was kind of like her Vietnam, because she was constantly afraid of being killed by Charlie. <laughs> but there's no denying how famous you are. I mean, it was international news when you ruined the lives of those two girls living with you. You know, your daughters. <laughs> But no, I mean, Charlie, you get a bad rap, but you're just like Bruce Willis. You know, you were big in the 80s, and now your old slot's being filled with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> but all joking aside, if you ever need a friend to pee in a cup for you, I'm your gal. Amy Schumer, great job. You really me tonight. Which I did because I'm into anonymous sex. And no one's more anonymous here than Amy Schumer. <laughs> I mean, I'm Charlie Sheen. They know me on Mars. They don't know you in this room. Charlie, you are a monster. Every moment of your life looks like the first two minutes of Law and Order SVU. <laughs> Anthony Jesselnik. I really liked your slow, measured delivery. It's as if you were trying to, trying to savor the moment. Years from now, when you're locking up at Radio Shack, <laughs> you'll look back at tonight and say, I wish I was funnier. We're here tonight to honor and hopefully arrest a man who was great in two things 25 years ago, Charlie Sheen. <clears throat> Actually, there's a lot of Sheen on TV this evening when the show airs. Uh, tonight on Two and a Half Men, they're actually having Charlie's pretend funeral, believe it or not. There's no need to switch over, though. Just wait a few months. You can probably see the real thing. Charlie, you claim to have tiger blood, but with all the porn stars you've banged, it's, it's probably just Tiger Woods blood, I'm guessing. <laughs> you have a lot of nicknames for yourself. You, you say you're a Vatican assassin, whatever that is. Charlie, the Vatican does not have assassins. No. If they want to shut someone up, they just buy them ice cream and tell them if they talk, Jesus will kill their parents. <laughs> Charlie went on to star in TV and film both drama and comedy. He was the star of Hot Shots, which is also what Charlie feels when he takes a piss. 
I really think you and Emilio should do a follow-up to the movie Men at Work, and you can call it Men Who Don't Work Anymore, right? That would be... I'll help, I'll help you write that. But, uh, of course, a very public meltdown changed the landscape. It's interesting, when you think about it, the firing of Charlie Sheen tells you all you really need to know about Hollywood. You can abuse drugs, you can abuse your spouse, you can trash hotel rooms, you can solicit prostitutes, but don't you ever, ever call a Jewish guy by his actual Jewish name. <laughs> So now, Charlie is a self-contained unit. He is dependent upon no man and no thing, except crack, jack, crank, meth, lewds, Vicodin, blow, acid, uppers, poppers, E, nitrous, dust, hash, and this one boner medicine from Norway. <laughs> He's the reason a, a dick with cocaine on it is called a sheenus. He's still with us, Charlie Sheen. In fact, Charlie just celebrated his 46th birthday. A statement no one thought we would ever hear. Kind of like, get Jesselnik on the phone. Or John Lovett saying, one at a time, please. Charlie allegedly made a prostitute cry at the Plaza Hotel. I, I want to tell you though, Charlie, I think she's lying. Because I saw the scene where you got arrested in Wall Street. You, you can't even make yourself cry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, with all those dangerous jobs shows on TV, like the ones about crab fishing, ice road trucking, why is there no show about the most dangerous job out there, being an escort for Charlie Sheen? How long must we wait for the first season of Deadliest Snatch? I'm ready to see that right, right now. Honestly, Charlie, I never thought I would live to see the night that you would live to see this night. I, I really did. <laughs> Look at you, Seth. You've got the, got the spray on tan, the, the waxed eyebrows, the, the peck implants, <laughs> halogen teeth, the bleached anus. <laughs> The scrotal tuck, <laughs> nipple enlargement, taint augmentation. <laughs> but I got to admit, I envy you. You've got boatloads of money, three TV shows, and still, even with all the work you've had done, you can walk down the street totally unrecognized. <laughs> right. Mr. Sheen, the doctor, will see you now. I have to say, Charlie, you are an incredible medical specimen. I guess that's one of the benefits of waking up every morning at the crack of crack. <laughs> and you know, it's amazing, despite all those years of abusing your lungs, your kidneys, your liver, the only thing you've had removed is your kids. Admittedly, Charlie gets a little confused sometimes. He's the only guy who pulls a knife on a woman who's already willing to f him. <laughs> I drink to that. I drink to that shit. Michael, drink to that. But is Charlie really the worst guy here? So he made a chick blow him for 30 grand. Mike Tyson makes you blow him, because I said so. That's why. <laughs> I drink to that, too. I think that. Isn't that right, Steve-O? <laughs> and so, Charlie, I'm happy to say, whether it's your Adonis DNA, your tiger blood, or the drug called Charlie Sheen, for some reason, you're able to defy science and medicine and continue to survive. I'll pencil you in for your relapse next week. Kate Walsh. I don't know anyone who watches your show. <laughs> because I date women who can still get their period. <laughs> Look, Carlos. I've had my share of wild times with the senoritas. 
I've had sex in space with green women. You don't need that kind of press, Charlie. In my day, if I wanted that kind of publicity, I had to do something drastic, like kiss a black girl. Or let an Asian drive. Oh. May I suggest to you, Charlie, that you re-examine your relations with women? Prostitutes cost a lot of money, Charlie. Hasn't anyone told you that actresses will sleep with you for free? Man, that's, that's Hollywood 101. You should have called. You know uh, what will help you get through this, 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 this tough spot? Something, you have to give something back. See, I, I was at, recently at a celebrity auction where I sold one of my kidney stones for $75,000. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And do you understand what I've done? I synthesized uric acid and calcium inside my bladder and turned it into a house for Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> Who's the warlock now, bitch? <laughs> Actually, Emilio, <laughs> we're not that different. You're a rock star from Mars. Yes, you are. And as one rocket man to another, if I may give you my most important piece of advice tonight, never, ever forget to book your next rehab stay through Priceline.com. <laughs> now, Charlie, see, you take it from the master, that little subtle plug there, $65 right in the pocket. Oh my, look at the time. Oh geez, I gotta simply, I must get home. I wanna catch that new Ashton Kutcher show. Do you, do you know him? Nice guy. No. I went to high school with his wife. Thank you very much. You know, I personally asked that William Shatner be here only because I needed some clean urine. I had to wring it out of the diaper, but it did the job. You've always been an inspiration to my acting. It was your work on Star Trek that inspired me to act like an asshole until the rest of the cast stopped speaking to me. <laughs> you know, unlike all you people on this dais, I, uh, I actually know Charlie, and I'm famous. <laughs> no, he's my friend. I've known him for about 18 years, and I can tell you, he's nothing like the character he plays on TMZ. <laughs> And people say, oh, he's crazy, you know, just because he likes beautiful women to come to his house, have sex with him, and then leave. What a nut! <laughs> First time I hung out with Charlie was at his house after the Super Bowl. A bunch of hot chicks showed up, and I looked up, I saw my old girlfriend, and Charlie put his arm around me and said, pick a hooker. First time in my life I cried and came at the same time. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> and now a joke. How much blow can Charlie Sheen do? Enough to kill two and a half men. Kidding, the man is misunderstood. Eight balls of heroin, bad for you? Or as Charlie sees it, the most important meal of the day. <laughs> now sure, things got pretty crazy for a while. He was all mixed up, but he knew it was time to get straight when he put his dick in his Coke and his razor in his hooker. <laughs> and did you know Charlie's, according to the Torah, he's Jewish? And not because his mother's a Jew, but because CBS paid him $50 million and he still sued the network. <laughs> Now listen, despite what you read, Charlie's still close to all of his exes. Why, well just recently, he took Brooke Mueller to Mexico, where he banged her ass so hard, three balloons of coke fell out. <laughs> huh? But Charlie's a gentleman. He put them back in. Picture it. Thank you. Look. 
It's former funny man, John Lovitz. Just last week, we were out on the golf course, we chatted, had a few laughs, then he got back on the mower and drove off. I said yes to this because uh, it, I, I respect Charlie Sheen, I do. I, I said yes because I respect, not, not, not his body of work, like not, it's, it's all been very Christian Slayer-ish. Like, it just like, he sucks, but he's, he's good, but he sucks at the same time. I think that his stand that he made uh, against the business, I think this is a business, but he stood up, he, he still survived, uh, and he proved that nobody can keep like a Sheen down, you know? They can keep uh, Estevez down, because his brother... <laughs> and he's the good one. That motherfucker do everything right, and that career is over. Holy shit! <laughs> Tiger blood, he's selling his own blood to make money. When I first saw Patrice on the stage, I thought the same thing we all did. Why is Mike Tyson's mother here? But Mike, no, no, Mike, 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 you were fantastic tonight. Oh, By the way, Mike, I'm sorry for drinking all the blood out of your tiger. I was going through a weird phase.